Now, guys, I know that you're intrigued with the big, huge gaming curve monitor here at my back. And I have here is the Samsung Odyssey Art. It's a 55-inch curve, not just curve, super curve gaming monitor. And this is probably going to be my personal gaming theater here at home. And I want to share you my full experience beginning from the unboxing. Let's go. So hi guys, it's me, Richmond of Gadget Psychic, and welcome back to my channel. Behold, the Samsung Odyssey Arc 55-inch game curve monitor here at my back. How about let's start with the unboxing experience. By the way, guys, I want to give a quick shout out to our friends from Samsung Philippines for giving me the chance to try out this big guy over here at the back. I know it wasn't really easy at the start. I was really excited until I saw the box that was really huge heavy and it's roughly a hundred pounds of pure gaming beast inside well of course i couldn't really uh, carry it on my own and so i did ask help from the samsung guy to help me unbox this one to assemble and did you know guys that the monitor stand is as heavy as the broad sword of cloud from final fantasy it's really broad it's really heavy I, I'm pretty sure if I strike someone, it will surely knock him out. So here are the stuff that you'll find inside the box. The Samsung Smart Remote, which is solar powered. So therefore, it's nice. And you can even charge it using USB. So goodbye AAA batteries. The Samsung Arc Dial, giving you a different experience on the Samsung Odyssey Arc. I'm excited to try this one out. And this is also being charged by solar cells. Samsung One Connect Cable power cord, Samsung's ultra high-speed HDMI cable, and of course the Samsung One Connect box. So at the back, we have several ports over here, USB port, EX link, 24 optical, LAN, 4 HDMI port, and One Connect. Let me peel this one off. Looks better. Told ya. So right now, it's to mount everything here. This one goes to the rear, and this one goes to the back of the One Connect box. Taking off the Velcro. So all you need to do is just push it here at the back. Make sure it's snug fit, and just put this cable all the way here for better cable management. And having this cover at the back really makes it look a lot nicer. And by the way, we also have two USB 2.0 here at the side, probably for mouse and keyboard. So putting your two prong over here for power, putting your one connect cable here snap so i'm quite nervous to open this for the first time it's my first time to be able to use a curb monitor this big and imagine the wingspan and of course it's a curb one the biggest that i have previously is a 32 inch curb gaming monitor but this one is a total game changer from samsung the odyssey arc so i'm really excited to peel this one off imagine how many reflection of me i can see over here there's three of me over here <laughs> and it's fun so it's time to peel it off and now it's more like it it's lesser glare more of a matte finish so yeah i think this is a lot better so how about let's turn it on for the first time Ooh, Odyssey R. It even has Tagalog over here. Kamusta? So you have two simple options over here to choose from. Either you go for smartphone for quick and easy installation or you go for remote control. Let's try the remote. Either connect your Wi-Fi network or you can use LAN cable. So successful connection. So after connect to the Wi-Fi network, all you need to do is just agree to all. So we'll install the latest software update on another time. So you can use this QR code to sign in your Samsung account. So I suggest that you enable this one to give you a better experience with these sounds with the active voice amplifier. So just enable. So Samsung suggests that I should be roughly 80 centimeters away from this monitor for the perfect viewing experience. So yeah, it's roughly somewhere here, 80 centimeters. So Samsung was right, 80cm was the perfect one. So I didn't need to 
tilt my head to the right and tilt my uh, head to the left. This is the perfect viewing angle. I can see perfectly here with just a roll of my eyes. It's just simply good. Now is to use the arc wheel. So in order to pair it, just press these two buttons together for three seconds to pair. So with this arc wheel, you can scroll it like this one and enjoy scrolling without the hassle. And it feels really, really enjoyable. Love playing with this wheel. Imagine scrolling on YouTube just like this. It's kind of giving me a different experience on a whole new level. Now you can see all these settings over here. It's for you at the at your fingertips. Now in order to play with this one, guys, just simply press the one connect button. Then you can use the scroll wheel to play with it. So you have this one, the game bar. So when the game mode is off, you cannot use it. So you can also use this multi view mode. So yeah, I can add several views that you want here. So we'll do it later when we build this monitor. So we can also use this one, flex move screen. You can uh, do what you want with this one. Wow. Imagine just uh, putting it to where you want it to be. Just like that. Imagine. It's so flexible. I mean, wow. It's really a total game changer for me. Now guys, let me show you some of the features of this Samsung Odyssey R 55 inch gaming monitor. So this one has a really nice 1000 R radius, giving you that really nice experience while you're playing the game, watching your favorite videos here, and just even editing your videos here on this monitor. And it is supported by HDR10+, Dolby Atmos, and of course, this one has the sound zone by Samsung which gives you really that immersive experience of sounds together with four speakers and two subwoofers, letting you feel that really immersive sound experience, especially when you're playing games and watching your favorite movies on this monitor. This 55 inch gaming monitor supports 4K display, 165 hertz of screen refresh rate, and 2000 nits of max brightness. Just imagine. And watching videos on this one, especially during dark scenes, I can say the black is really black. Since this one has 1056 dimming zones, giving you the best black experience I've ever felt on a monitor. And this screen is being covered with a anti-glare film. It's called the Sagar film. Now, there's a lot of pre-installed games also on this Samsung Odyssey Art that you can navigate. It's just simply hidden down there inside the gaming section so there's other uh, like sports to watch all of your favorite sports uh well shows here it also has a lot of streaming apps also here and this one comes with a lot of pre-installed apps like netflix prime video apple tv youtube internet explorer uh google meet spotify nifty and emanuals i can play with a lot of your settings over here and match it to the flavor that you like on this monitor. So there's one thing that I like to try here, which is called the Eclipse Lighting. This one turns on your LED lighting at the back of your monitor, which gives you more a feel of the gaming monitor. And of course, this Eclipse Lighting would consume a little bit more electricity than normal. But of course, since you can afford a monitor this expensive, well, spending a little bit more on electricity to give you that better experience, why not? Right now, we're entering one of the most insane mode here on this gaming monitor. It's called the cockpit mode. So we can turn this monitor right into a portrait mode that lets you view three different angles. And it's called the multi-view mode. It can show you roughly, on my best estimate, 330 inch screen here so you can combine mix and combine whatever you want there's a couple of selection over here and i did a quick mirror cast over here from my phone to the 55 inch odyssey art g9 and you can see on top here it's playing what i'm supposed to be watching here on my smartphone and of course you can browse the internet over here and browse your social media over here on the bottom and there's a lot of things that you can do here like 
want to put your stocks over here, you want to play your games over here, you want to edit over here, it depends on you. One of the limitations that I find here is that the 4 HDMI port can only support one. Now, meaning if you plug in one HDMI, the rest of the other three is, well, basically gray out. Personally, I want to see two inputs of HDMI on my Samsung Odyssey Art, meaning one PlayStation, the other one's my PC, and well, probably the other one is the built-in YouTube over here on this monitor. That would definitely be great. Now, one of the good things here, you can turn this one, probably any one of these, into full screen. Now, watch. Now, look at that. Imagine you're watching a life-size shorts here on this Samsung Odyssey Art 55-inch monitor and you're watching roughly a life-size Bella Porsche. How about that? Now, in order to turn this back, well, all you need to do is just twist it like this and, well, just pull it down. Now you can change the angle depending on what you like. Tilt. A bit. Perfect. Now you can turn the landscape mode into four 27-inch monitor here in this one big monitor. Like example, you can have your casting of your laptop. You can watch your YouTube here. Browse the net. And of course, play some games on your PC. This is a very unique way of maximizing your monitor on the landscape mode. The moment that I plug in my PlayStation 5, it says here, PS5. Nice. So we can adjust our HDR also over here. Imagine I don't even have to use my remote here. I'm just using this remote from Samsung. I can, well, scroll over here, just like any remote control on my PS5. So basically, I guess it's a collaboration between Samsung and the PlayStation. Let's try the art wheel. Ooh, it's also working. And this is basically what I'm seeing here at my point of view. If I'm, well, playing games on the GT7 using the PlayStation 5 on the Samsung Odyssey Art.
So right now, guys, we're going to have a quick game of Forza Horizon 4. Let's just simply test out the speed playing on this monitor. The sound is really immersive. I can just feel the sound of the cars, racing cars, driving through my ears. Great. So guys, you've seen my full experience of the Samsung Odyssey R55 inch gaming monitor. And I can say that this monitor gave me probably one of the best and wild experience for gaming, for watching my favorite movies, and of course, doing all the multitasking and even watching TikTok on portrait mode. This is really insane and the experience is really off the chart. I love every moment that I spend with this gaming monitor and I can say that this definitely is the best gaming monitor that you can buy out there in the market if you're really into gaming, into multitasking, into probably entertaining yourself at home. So guys, if you want to know where you can buy the Samsung Odyssey R55 inch curved gaming monitor, I'll be linking it on the description box below. Just check it out. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, click that bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads here for my channel. And so I'm Richmond, and you're watching Gadget Psyche. What's up?